Hey everyone, I'm Gene and I'm a graphic designer and illustrator. I've been working in the industry for about 15 years. Uh, today we're going to talk about acetone and how to use it in oil paints. Now even the most expert oil painter from time to time is going to make mistakes. One of the things about oil painting is that it's very unforgiving if you're not careful because it takes a long time to dry. So if you try and uh, fix mistakes too much, your painting can become really muddy. Well, that's where acetone comes in. There are two ways that I can think of that you're going to use acetone most frequently. One is just eliminate a mistake entirely and acetone will basically eat that paint right away. You want to keep um, uh, a knife handy, a palette knife, or even just a regular knife so you can scrape off any excess paint and then essentially paint the acetone in the area and that'll water it down, um, uh, dilute it actually. Uh, then you're going to want to take a sponge and lift however much paint up you can. Now, the good thing is with oil paint is it's a thick enough paint that you don't need to remove all of the paint in the offending area. You just need to remove most of it and then you can paint over it without having everything mix and turn to mud. The second thing that you would use acetone for is in your actual painting itself. There's one rule in oil painting with very few exceptions, a thin paint will stick to a thicker paint. So it, let's say you're using two similar colors and your paint is a very similar thickness. Uh, just add a little bit of acetone, a very, very little bit will go a long way. Uh, add a little bit of acetone to the paint that you would like to be on top of the thicker paint and that will thin it out enough to where it won't mix as much if you're just very careful. Obviously if you push down and you start swirling it around the acetone is going to mix so um, you'll get mud again. But anyway, those are the two ways that you're going to use acetone most often. So uh, I'm Gene, and I hope you learned something. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.